What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video three, five? No, four. This is video four, 12 days of Vidmas. Um, I tried to make it kind of like pretty. I lighted my Christmas tree and like the lighting is kind of sucky, but it's fine, it's fine. So today I am bringing you 15 Christmas gifts ideas, Christmas gift ideas. I can't talk today, goodness. For when you just don't know what to get somebody, but you wanna get them a gift, but you're stumped, and you need help and I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. So without further ado, let's do it. Idea number one, the most important idea that I have for you is to make someone a blanket. Um, I have two tie blankets to make this Christmas for people and they are so easy and so fun. All you need is like two yards of two different fleece fabrics and you literally just like cut strips, you cut the corners out and you cut strips and you tie them together. And it's so fun. And I have gotten blankets from people before. I have made blankets for people. I've made them for myself. They're fun. They're super fun. And so it's like kind of personal, kind of heartfelt. You made it for somebody. It's not just like you went to the store and bought it. It's just cute and fun. And I recommend making a blanket for someone at least once in your life. Um, it takes a couple hours, but like we're living during a global pandemic where we're supposed to stay home. So I think we all have lots of time to do things like make blankets for people. Yeah. Hi, Daisy. Hi, come here. Come here. Mirror. Mirror. This is my pupper. Her name is Daisy. Does not like it when I pick her up like this, but it's okay. Do you have any Christmas gift ideas? Buy me lots of toys and some T R E A T S. Oh, really? I think Ho Ho already bought you toys. That's a toy. Yeah. I love you. Okay, bye. All right, back to the point of this video. Um, idea, idea number two is to buy people candles. Um, I went to Bath and Body Works candle day yesterday and my Bath and Body Works was all out of their holiday candles, but I bought a normal candle because it was candle day and I couldn't not buy a candle on candle day. But candles are just, I feel like everyone likes candles. I might be wrong on that, but like, Joe and I really like candles, so I feel like everyone likes candles. It's just a good gift. It makes your space cozy. It's good for self-care. Candles are a go. They're a go. You should definitely buy someone a candle. Idea number three is books. If you have someone that really likes to read, I mean, after the year that 2020 has been, I definitely recommend buying people, like, self-help books. <laughs> I've bought a couple self-help books this year and I haven't read them yet, but like I probably need to or if you know Someone's like favorite book series and they haven't read all the books. You could buy them one of those You could do anything books are like universal and reading is good for literally everyone So you can buy books for children. You can buy books for adults. You can buy books for teenagers You can buy books for old people. I mean they're good for everybody reading is good for everyone So do your daily reading even though I don't do your daily reading <laughs> my next idea idea number four if you will is to buy someone a journal journal um this kind of goes in with the last one this year has been literally terrible for i'm pretty sure everyone so like we all need to journal okay can we just admit we all need to journal i don't care i don't care who you are you need to journal it's good for you get your feelings out and if you buy someone a journal like even if they just use it for lists every day like i love journals i love getting a journal as a gift it's fun i'm like honored like yes i will write in that journal so journals Idea number five is to buy them fan merch. So if you know that they have their favorite YouTuber, um, favorite celebrity, favorite singer, favorite actor, um, pretty much anything, you could buy them fan merch. Um, that's a really good idea. Find out who they like, find out if they have merch, and then buy them some. Idea number six I already had on here is the tie blanket idea. So I guess I'm bringing you 14 ideas, but like, it's fine. Buy people blankets. Everyone loves a good blanket, so I have to say. My next idea, idea number seven, is buy someone a warmie. If you don't know what a warmie is, I will insert a picture right here. Um, I bought my best friend a warmie for Christmas this year. I already gave her her gift, so I'm comfortable saying that I got it for her. I'm going to insert a clip right here of her opening it and how excited she was. Um, but they are literally stuffed animals that you put in the microwave and they have like lavender in them and they get hot like a heating pad and then you snuggle it and it's warm and it smells like lavender and it's so calming and so lovely. I have one that I got for Christmas last year and I bought her one and I bought somebody else one but I can't say who because they don't aren't gonna get their gift till Christmas but I did buy somebody else a warmie this year and I definitely recommend like they just bring joy and happiness to everyone. <laughs> Idea number eight is to buy someone a water bottle. Um, I got a hydro flask from Joe for my birthday and I love it. But they also have some cheaper ones like Yeti brand is cheaper than hydro flask or the the simple modern brand um has some I think um that kind of look like that that are cheaper and 
We all need to drink water. We all need to drink water. And what a better reminder to drink your water than buy someone a water bottle and tell them, here's a new water bottle. Drink your water. Drink your daily water. Do it now. Drink your water. That's all I have to say. Idea number nine. I think I'm on nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Idea number nine is the holy grail of 2020. Buy someone some hand sanitizer. <laughs> My Bath and Body Works had a deal on their pocket hand sanitizers yesterday when I went and they were five for eight and I bought five and I'm going to give some away and I'm going to keep some for myself because we all need to sanitize. If you go out in public and you touch anything even if you don't touch anything if you don't touch anything still sanitize your hands when you're done because we need to stop the spread of COVID-19 together sanitize your hands buy someone sanitizer that's all that's all number 10 is to buy someone gift cards um they're really lame like okay no no back up back up hold up hold up, hold up. they're not lame i like getting a gift card because it just shows that like the person that gave me the gift card wants me to buy something that i will enjoy and like and use and like love and cherish so if you really don't know what to get someone get them a gift card a visa gift card gift card to their favorite store starbucks gift card a gas card if you have a young person in your life save my life I was driving to college back and forth every day. Save my life. Gas cards. So you could get them a gift card for like a date night after COVID's over. Cause like right now we can't really go out on dates in my, where I live. But like if you can, you get them a date night card or you could just get them a gift card. Everyone loves a good gift card. Idea number 11 is to buy someone socks. I'm gonna be honest with you. I buy my dad socks every year for like every holiday that I buy him gifts. I buy him a pair of socks. I haven't bought him socks yet this year, but I probably will end up going and buying some socks at some point. It always happens. I don't know why. Socks are a good gift. I bought someone else socks. They came in the mail today. Can't say who because they're not going to get it till Christmas, but socks. Everyone needs socks. And I feel like like fuzzy socks. I love getting fuzzy socks. Like, yes, you want me to be comfy. You really care about me because you want me to be comfy. So fuzzy socks, regular socks. The socks I always buy my dad are like the thick wool ones because he like works outside or he goes fishing or something. So like warm socks. We live where it it's really cold. Um, normal socks. I don't know. Socks are a good gift idea all around. They're just solid. Solid. You can't go wrong with a pair of socks. My, I think I'm on 12. 12th idea is to get someone bath bombs. I love a good bath bomb. I get a little concerned when they're the ones with like the flower petals in it and everything. Like, I don't know. Mm, where are those going? I don't know. But bath bombs or not body wash, bubble bath. I love taking baths. So if you have someone in your life who loves taking baths or you could do a self care kit and get them like socks, a candle, a bath bomb, bubble bath. There's a whole, I just gave you so many gift ideas. Go, go do with that whatever you want. Number 13 is to take a picture of you and that person and put it in a frame and give it to them. I've done this with family members so many times. Um, last year, Joe and I had like professional pictures taken of us and we just like handed them out to family members at Christmas time um, to have like an updated picture of us. But um, you could also frame like your favorite picture of you and that person and give it to them. Um, it's really heartfelt and yeah, I've never, like that's never been a bad idea. They've always loved it. So I don't, I don't see how you could go wrong with that one. I really don't. Number 14. I just bought for someone last night. It was at Walmart in case you want to use this idea. It was a mug and coffee set. It came with two mugs and a pack of coffee in the middle and it was a certain type of coffee and the mugs went with the coffee. Said person who I bought it for really likes that type of coffee and they drink coffee all the time so the coffee mugs. It was actually for two people. It's a conjoined gift but if you have a coffee drinker in your life, or even they have the ones with hot cocoa too, like everyone loves hot chocolate, come on. Those are really good ideas because a mug is always going to get used. Even if you don't drink coffee or they don't drink coffee, mugs like hot chocolate, tea, anything else, I drink everything out of a mug. So mugs, coffee set, hot chocolate set, you can't go wrong. And my last gift idea is to buy someone a perfume or cologne. Um, don't worry, you're not telling them that they smell bad. You're just giving them a new scent. <laughs> Um, but really I have bought people cologne. Um, it's kind of expensive like perfume and cologne is kind of expensive So it's a nice gift to get like ooh, I got a new scent for the new year after Christmas I can use it. I can smell different in 2021. We're getting rid of 2020 completely. Yes Yes, and around Christmas time they always have the sets so you can get like a body wash and a lotion and a perfume or cologne that like all smell the same. I feel like I see those everywhere. So like that's like a whole gift. Like you don't even have to buy anything else. That's a gift. So all right, there you have it. Those are my 15, 15 fit. Wait, hold on. I can do it. 15. That was gross. I'm so sorry. Um, gift ideas. 
I'm so sorry. Um, for Christmas this year, I hope you take inspiration from this. I hope you find something to buy that one person in your life that you just don't know what to get them, but you want to get them something. I hope that this helped you. Um, I love buying gifts for people, so I'm just like constantly full of ideas, except for when I'm not. There's certain people that I'm just like, oh my gosh, I've bought them. Like, like Joe, I buy him gifts all year round for like anniversaries, Valentine's Day, birthday, whatever. So like I have a hard time with him because I buy him everything anyways, but other people, I love buying gifts. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed Vidmas Day 4 and I will see you guys next time. Comment down below what your favorite gift idea was or what your favorite gift that you are gifting this year. Gift that you're gifting this year. Yeah, that made sense. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.